starts us off with this uh, comment here. I noticed a guy says, you know, these vehicles are worth $100,000. You should buy all the parts. You know, that's for you, man. Uh, if you're that guy and you've got all the money to do that, then go for it. But this is these videos are for people that don't have those resources. Maybe they don't have the parts. Maybe they don't have the place that they can get them for. Maybe it costs so much to have them shipped. Maybe there's a there's a million reasons of why somebody would make this corner. I can run down to Wolfsburg right now and go buy that sucker for $130, $39 myself. I have the money, but I'm not showing it for me. I'm trying to show it for you guys. So the guys who make those comments, you guys have at them. Just go ahead and re reply to their comments and let them know what you think. Anyway, let's do some filling um yeah on these panels you know they're really not that far off and they're pounded a little bit low in the where the welds are and then i'm just going to go ahead and fill these in again i could buy these i could have bought the corners i could butt weld them in i could make everything look just like the welding guys do but really i find it pointless so it's like when i'm done it's going to look great so how i got there is you know basically I'm trying to show you guys different things because it's all over YouTube right now how to do <clears throat> patch panels. You know, this is about showing you guys who don't have those resources or maybe you just want to find out a different way or maybe you just need an idea of how to make something that's not available. When these corners were 500 bucks, this was the only way to do it because 500 bucks for that whole corner was to me really, really ridiculous. Oftentimes I'll just take my polisher real quick and I'll just knock it down the first time. Knock the filler down first real quick with this. Just because it's fast. I got 40 gear on here. Let's take a look over here. Here's how I do the corner. Same way. Just knock it off real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another coat of bomb, another filler. Just gonna get your first one done, then I'll just go over, run it over again. Fill in some of the low spots there, you can see them. Then uh, we'll do it again. <music> Take a quick look here. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple nibs down there. You see these here, little. Well, I might have to knock those down. They might. They're really not much. And that's only two, two coats of filler. So, um, how thick can you put it on in two coats? You know, I, I I'm not that good. I I don't. And then I sand off what 80 percent of what I put on. So. I'm saying maybe the deepest spots close to an, a little over an eighth, maybe. I don't know. Not much more than that. Fill in my dings. Wait for that to dry. This is all sanded. Um, I still got to do this edge. And I'll straighten all that out, make it look right. You know, the rest of the stuff gets done off for blocking. You can see that line. Uh, I got it kind of close. I'll sand that off. It should look. I mean, I can make it look exactly like that by just sanding it. Um, I don't have any st uh, sticky paper, though, so I'm all out. So i got to get a roll of that so that I can pull it really tight and then get that fine little crack in there. So there's a way to do it. You, you, you just got to be patient. If you want to do it with filler, you can. You don't have to do it with, by metal being perfect. You know, some of these guys think you have to do it that way. You don't. That's all, you know. Decisions, things you want to decide, how much money you want to spend, how much money you want to put into it, how far you want to go with it, you know, it's up to you. So, filled all out there, got a couple low spots, of course I'm going to do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish sanding that out, and then I'll do a uh, real heavy, heavy, heavy primer on there, and then I will guide coat that, and then that will find all the fine stuff, and then I'll have some other low spots and I'll just knock those down at that time but I just wanted to do this video on the filling just so because there might be skeptics out there that think the stuff that I'm doing doesn't work because of the comments you read some of the comments that the guys are putting down just obviously they watch too they watch too much HDTV of cars uh, there's a lot of this misconception stuff coming around with cars that everything has to be uber perfect um, it doesn't really it has to be nice and then it'll look good so it's not a matter of doing every little piece of metal put in exactly perfect and then filling it perfect and doing you know yeah if you want to do that you build your museum piece and you never drive it go for it not my game so and that's what i'm not what i'm really teaching on this youtube channel i'm trying to teach people realistic ways to do it so we'll finish this out check it out a little bit well i know it's hard to see right now but i was hard for me to see too because it's getting dark out and I actually shot the paint or shot the primer on a little too heavy because I was kind of in a hurry because it was getting dark got a couple of heavy spots so the primer is actually wavier than the 
than the finish of the than the actual uh, filler. So yeah, it it needs to be blocked and prime one more time. All right, let me try this here. Is that right? Light there. Okay, when we go around the corner here, so you can see. But you can see here. Uh, can you tell that's a fabricated corner? Anybody? Nope. I don't think so. Other than, you know, look how thin that is along the edge there. It's like nothing hardly to know that that was lap welded in and fabricated. In fact, you can see there's dents right here from the spot welds I didn't fill. I filled these spot welds, but I didn't fill these ones. So, it's pretty straight. I mean... Yeah, it doesn't need to be finished. It does go in. I think it's just a little bit. I'm going to have to do some final work. I just ran over it with the sander. That was two coats of filler and just run over it real quick with the DA. Did not hand block anything. Did not hand sand anything. That's just all pure DA work all right there. So, okay. This can give you an idea. And some of you, so what the problem is, is I've seen some people go, hey, can you prime something or can you finish it? So we can see, you know, and, you know, I understand that's because you're skeptical about what you see because you see other guys doing everything butt welded and making it look, you know, really nice butt welded. But I'm saying, I finished this out so you guys could see the real picture of this, that this can look as nice as something that's butt welded. You really can't tell the difference. Fabricated corner looks like this one again you can see how much more work I did to that I mean most of that I did on camera I did a little bit off camera um, but I you know mostly was mostly what you guys saw is what I did and uh, that's fabricated like that lap welded pieces cut and and uh, lapped over each other and then on the inside I'll seam seal all of that with a with a uh, with a, a bondo spreader and I'll just leave it like that and paint it so inside I'll be painted too and covered so that all the seams are not open so more rust can come you know, there's no perfect way to fix anything nothing lasts forever even the most expensive rust repair guys I've talked to said that nothing lasts forever so anyway this will help you guys see where you can do this and it will work all right that's all i just wanted to get a section done uh keep watching the videos if you're not afraid to try it um i've actually had several people and i want to thank you guys that have said this at the car shows who flagged me down and said dude my car is right there i said right on and they're like you know why? Because I watched your heater channel video and I did it myself and it was painted, looked nice, really nice looking car um, right there. You know, another guy says, man, I did the other, another video that I did. Um, he did some of the work like the way that I'm showing. And he was like, dude, man, I, I'm so grateful for your videos. They've, they've helped me so much. So, you know, the haters, you know, they can hate, they can do whatever they want. But, um, you know, they, they're not stopping you guys from benefiting from these videos. So, screw them. Whatever. Anyway, they want to hate, they can hate all they want. But anyway, that just shows you what, you know, it's, it, it looks a little bit kind of a little bit wavy. And that's mostly because I got a few heavy spots in the primer. Like right there. See that? That's a heavy spot in the primer. That's not body work. I just shot it a little too heavy because it was getting dark and I just want to get it out of the gun real quick and I put it layered a little too fast and of course that's what happens so no big thing because I'm going to sand it you know it's going to get guide coated and sanded and then blocked again and then I'll find all the low spots after that it'll be easier to find whatever low spots were left and I'll glaze those and then you know recoat it with primer and when I'm done it'll look you know I could make it really perfect if I wanted to. I mean, I could make it so nice, like a show car, if I wanted to. But I just don't really want to spend that kind of time. I don't spend the time on anything. So I'm just telling you guys, 
you know, it can be done if you really want to do that, you know. But I'm just saying I don't do that myself anymore. I can. I've done it before, and I don't want to do it again. It just takes too much time. All right, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you watch this build. And then you can see before and after when it's all done, and you'll see that it's going to look really nice. This thing's going to look like really beautiful, and it's going to last. It's not going to fall off. There's not going to be any bondo that's going to fall off. All that stuff's a myth when it's done correctly and you use good filler. You know, even the old filler, if you did it right, the crappy stuff, guys just didn't do it right. They would, you know, put it over paint. And that doesn't work. The newer fillers, some of them you can actually even put them over sanded paint, you know, and they'll still work really good. So it just depends on the filler you use. So there's all different types now that there wasn't before. Talk to you in the next one.